PeteTools.com. G'day guys, Pete here to annoy you again. Hey, I brought the cheapest plasma cutter on Amazon, the cheapest pilot art plasma cutter I could find, under 200 bucks. It says it can cut up to about 11 mil. I want to see how much it can actually cut. <laughs> anyway guys, same as usual, like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment. Come say good day in the comments below, we can have a bit of a yarn. And always remember to subscribe to the channel if you like what you see, and subscribe even if you don't like what you see. <laughs> Let's get into it. So guys, I've been putting the old plasma cutter through its paces to see if it can hold up to my punishment. Because I'm pretty rough with my gear. If you've watched any of my videos, you know I'm pretty damn rough. Mind you, my last plasma cutter lasted me like 10 years, so hopefully this one will do the same. Like I say, guys, cheapest plasma cutter that I could find on Amazon. It says it's rated to cut up to about 14 millimeters, which is what, just over half an inch? Just yeah, a little bit over half an inch. But Pete wants to see if it'll cut an inch thick. Anyway, let's get into it. See if it'll cut what I want it to cut, or it'll blow up one or the other. So guys, as you can see, I'm running on 220 volt, and I'll be running it at maximum power, which is 50 amp. Right, let's get into it. First of all, guys, we've got about a quarter of an inch plate here, as you can see. Not that thick, should go through that, no worries at all. Let's give it a crack, Nigel. Piece of cake guys, not a problem at all. Like I say, about a quarter of an inch or so. No worries. Cut that all day, I reckon. Now with this one here guys, it's an old weight ring. I use it to lift up weights. It's on, off my old weight bar because I haven't got any flat bar. So this is what, I would say about half an inch or so. So we'll see if it'll bowl through that. I think this is here is about the maximum that this is rated to cut. So if it cuts through this, it does what it says it's supposed to do on the tin. And that remains to be seen as well. So anyway, we'll have a go at cutting through this one. Half an inch, guys. So we've got a half inch here, guys. Will it cut through it? Let's have a go. Look at that guys, not a bad cut, not too much dross on the bottom of it. With a couple of hours practice, I think we'll be pretty good at that, using the old pilot arc. Right, so that's just over half inch guys, so... Will it do three quarter inch? I think this is about three quarter, it's getting bigger and bigger all the time. Well, I've got my doubts, but anyway, it's rated at this. It's rated the maximum cut as this, but will it do this? Only one way to find out, guys. Yolzy, yolzy. Let me grab a screwdriver before I burn myself. 
as you can see guys it cut it, it took a little bit more effort but this is about the maximum this machine can do and it's not designed to do this by any stretch of the imagination so I reckon it's pretty good actually the only way you'd be cutting this shit in your garage if you were making bloody battleships or something who the hell cuts steel that thick anyway And if you cut and quarter the half inch plate, it'll cut it all day, guys. I'm quite impressed with that, actually. That surprised the hell out of me that it'll even cut that. There you go. $200 machine. Yeah. So, guys, that's about it for the video for today. That's what a, a cheap little machine like this will actually cut. $200 machine. If you want to cut this sort of stuff, you know, half inch plate, cuts it no worries at all. You know, your quarter is even better. We'll cut that all day. But if you want to go three quarter or above like this, it's going to struggle a little bit. But obviously it's not designed to cut this sort of stuff. I mean, who cuts this sort of stuff in your, out in your shed anyway? I mean, I don't. I'm not building tanks or anything in my shed. The most I cut is basically quarter inch or half inch. So anyway, from my opinion for what it's worth, good little machine for the money. I mean, you couldn't get it much cheaper. Anyway, guys, that's the video for what it's worth. Same as usual, like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment. I'll put an Amazon link to this little machine in the description if you want to go and check it out yourself. And if you're looking for a way to convert your old machine to pilot arc, I'm not really supposed to do it. But anyway, have a look at this video up here. A couple of ideas for you. See you next time. Bye. Pete's Tools.com.